Hello there you beautiful people and welcome back to my gaming series and today we're playing Scooby 2 2 Monsters Unleashed for the PC that's right motherfuckers now this movie actually got a video game however it didn't get a console release which is just the fuck really seriously no wait tell a lie it did get another console release the Game Boy Advance however this version didn't actually get any of the console release and I was quite you know took back by it I wanted to uh, rip the models out like I said in the previous video, and I fucking tried, but you can't. They're not fucking models, they're like 2D images or something spread out on a, on some kind of polydex, which is annoying as shit. I got the textures for both Shaggy and Scooby, but I just didn't, I didn't get the fucking models, which really pissed me off. So I decided to play the game and, you know, see what it was like. And here we are playing the fucking game. I have to admit, not liking it, not liking it so far whatsoever. That might be due to the fact that I couldn't get the 3D models. It might be due to the fact that it's fucking shit. So, yeah, let's just find out, shall we? Because that totally looks like fucking, uh, what's the name from Buffy? Sarah Michelle Gellar. Got Linda Cart right there playing fucking, uh, Velma. I think she's actually in the animated series now as well. Well, that Be Cool Scooby Doo one. Not sure on that. Don't quote me on the fucker. I'm, I'm sort of sure, but at the same time, not. So, meh. I don't know why I wanted the model so badly, but I thought it'd be cool to put as a GTA mod. Kinda gutted that it didn't fucking work, I have to admit. Oh, there's a big old fucking baddie. Turned out to be a man in a woman mask. But that guy, Ned, fucking, what was it, causing up to him? He's like, but we cuddled. Yeah, I've seen this fucking movie, of course I've seen it. I even watched those other two fucking Scooby Doo movies. You know the ones that came out after? They sort of directed DVD ones. Yeah, I watch those fuckers. And uh, they were alright, you know, not too bad. Okay, clear the way. Help Scooby clear the way so we can look for clues. Drag the objects around the museum floor to make a path for Scooby. Scooby can only cross in a straight line. Be sure to clear a path directly from him to the other side. Cheers, Velma. Right, okay, so. Ah, oh, man, what the fuck? It's one of these. Shit. So then this, this kind of thing is more my partner's sort of style of game. She likes this kind of shit, along with those fucking um, find the objects. I can't do those fuckers. I don't know why. They just bugged the shit out of me. So already this game is on me fucking can't be arse list, which isn't good. Because that means I'm probably not going to fucking like it. And that's okay. You know what? Fuck it. I've got another Scooby-Doo game here anyway. First Frights that I was going to play. So a bit gutted that this one's this shit, to be honest. Now, apparently there are levels where you can run around, but they're not many, so I can see why this didn't get a console release, if I'm honest. Would somebody have played it on the console? Most likely. I mean, if you could run around and actually, you know, fucking play as normal characters, then I probably would have given it a go. Also kind of think of doing that Alice Madness Returns. Never played that before. Not even played, uh, what was it, Mr. McGee, Al Alice's... The first one, whatever the fuck that was called. Not played that either. Oh, come on, what the fuck, man? Never been good at fucking puzzles. Absolutely hate them. Shit. The fuck have I got to do? And someone might be looking at this going, oh, it's this piece of piss. It's fucking not piece of piss, at least not for me. So, you know, keep those comments to yourself. <laughs> okay, so not even five minutes into this motherfucker, and I still don't know what the fuck to do. Not exactly a good fucking thing, but, you know, that's that's where we're at at the moment. Alright, it's so the first level fucking done. How riveting. have to admit, not enjoying this fucking game at all. I mean, this is... It's not what I thought it'd fucking be. I do have first strikes on the desktop though, so I will give that a go. But this, oh my god, this is just a fucking letdown. This is a letdown of the highest order. I mean, it's not Sonic Shuffle leg fucking like style letdown. It's just more absolutely livid kind of letdown. What the fuck am I doing? 
See, there's a reason I don't play fucking puzzle games, and this is it. What the fuck were they thinking? Why would they think this would be a good game? Oh yeah, let's make a Scooby-Doo game. Where you slide fucking things. Let's make Tetris as a Scooby-Doo game. Because clearly that's what the fucking kids want. Scooby-Dooby Tetris! Yeah, fuck off. I was already pissed off that I couldn't even rip the models out the fucker. And I tried. I tried every fucking option I could. Didn't do jack. All I got was Scooby laughing at me. Like a fucking little bastard that he is. He wasn't actually laughing at me. But I pictured that in my head. Because, you know, that's more funnier than the actual fact of... I spent four hours and didn't get fucking nothing. And in case someone wasn't, well, didn't you fucking, you know, go on it and try the game? No, I fucking didn't. I just simply load it up and at the start where you get to move around fucking Scooby and Shaggy. I did that and I tried doing it there. Didn't fucking work. Did it in the cutscene like usual. Guess what? Didn't fucking work. Nothing worked. Because this game is a piece of shit. Fucking. I mean, I recently just uh, installed, what was it, Alice McGee's The Alice Game. I don't know if that's its entire title, but it's on the desktop along with uh, Scooby Doo First Rights. So who the fuck knows what's going to come next? I might do first rights, but at the same time, after doing this, you know, I don't know, Scooby Doo can just go fuck himself, to be honest. Alice seems a good game, though, to be honest. I mean, that, that's quite like a sort of horror thing, isn't it? I don't fucking know. We'll give it a go and we'll see together. Oh, for fuck's sake. Join me as we go on a riveting fucking gameplay. Of moving blocks. Come help me move my furniture. Because apparently that is more fucking. This is exactly what we're doing, in fact. Moving fucking furniture. As a game. Why the fuck would you do that? Why would you pay for that? Cheeky bastards, man. They take our money and they want us to move their fucking furniture. That fucking time, one second to go, man. Fucking nailed it at least. Excellent, you've advanced. You Would it? Oh, you can fuck off. You failed to complete this objective. I've got to do all fucking levels under, under the time limit. Well, I'm fucking shit, that ain't gonna happen. What can I do here then? Log on to computer. Let's continue the mystery. Oh, okay, can we change the couch for me? No, we're back in the fucking thing. Alright Velma, shut the fuck up then, let's have another go then. Because clearly that's all you can do on this fucking game. I did see some kind of thing where you get to go and like go on some of the fucking bits from the movie, you know, change Scooby using those, those potions and shit, spoilers for a film that's like fucking 15 years old. But still, I can't even get past the first fucking level. There's a reason I don't play this kind of games and obviously it's because I'm fucking shit at them. I'm being beat by Scooby fucking do. Jesus Christ. Speaking of which, what got me back in the Scooby Doo, if I'm completely honest, was that Scooby Natural. That's right, I mean, I wasn't. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Supernatural in, in the aspect that I used to like the older series. My partner, however, fucking loves the, loves the show. So as soon as she told me there was going to be a Scooby Doo episode, I was like, you know, why the fuck not? Let's, let's give it a go. So I sat there with my daughter, and we were, we were watching the Scooby Natural episode, and I was like, shit, this is fucking good, this. And she was tell asking me what it was, and I told her it was Scooby-Doo. And she was like, is there more of this? And I said, yeah. So we sat there, and have been sitting there, for fucking weeks watching Scooby-Doo. So it was inevitable that I'd play a fucking game of it. Sad to say, this is not as good as watching the fucker. I mean, it's as good as watching paint dry, but, you know, that's about it. And to be honest, that's not good, fucking good enough. I mean, I used to like the Scooby-Doo games back in the day. Such as Mystery, I think mean, Mystery Unmasked and shit like that. Mystery Mayhem and Ghost Unmasked or whatever the fuck it was called. They were good games. You know, they were right up there when I was playing the GameCube. Like fucking Casper, whatever fucking game that was called. I can't even remember that bastard's title, but that was a good game. And I was really addicted to playing the Scooby-Doo game for a while because it came on a demo disc with the original Xbox. And um, yeah, I fucking loved it. So obviously I picked up the proper game after a, a few weeks. 
and uh, I had a good fucking time with it. You know, really good fucking time. And to find out that there's a Scooby Doo game for the movie, and I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be fucking sweet. Turns out it's a fucking piece of shit, and that is not good. I was already pissed off, like I said, because I couldn't get the 3D model. But I thought, meh, the game might be good at least. It is fucking not. It's really not. It's not worth your fucking time. I mean, if you were considering buying this game, one, get your fucking head checked because it's it's not worth it. And two, well, there's other ways of getting it. You know, you know Google's your friend. Let's be honest with that one. Plus, it's a 15-year-old game. You know, it's got 15-year-old games problems. Starting from being absolutely shit to the fucking shitty interface. I mean, this fucker doesn't even have a start menu. It just boots into the fucking game. What were they too fucking fucking pissed to even like program a start menu? Fucking hell! I mean, it, when you first install the game, there's a sort of thing that pops up, but it's like, would you like to play the game and shit? And Scooby Doo will go play game and shit like that. But that's about it. After that, boom, nothing. You'll never see that screen again. You know, he wipes his ass with that fucking screen because it's just gone. Fucking Scooby snapped my asshole. Fucking bullshit is what it is. You know, and that's where we're at at this point. Whether or not the, whether or not you're a Scooby Doo fan and you like this game, you know, if that's the case, awesome. More power to you. If you're not, if you're like me and you like Scooby Doo and this is just a piece of shit, then, hey man, I feel you. This game's fucking wank. There's nothing we can do about it though. You know, as fans, all you can do is play the shit that you're given. If you don't like it, well, it's fuck all you can do, really, isn't it? It's just one of those things, I'm afraid. And I'll tell you what, absolutely fucking shit, and I don't know if I can fucking do this. I've got one minute and something seconds to try and do this fucking level, and I cannot be fucking arsed. I am not going to lie to you in any bullshit of the way. It's fucking wank. This game is not worth your time. And honestly, you might as well just jizz on a fucking biscuit and have it done because it's absolutely shit. You know, I wouldn't even bother with this fucking game. It says great job, but we're going to fucking die in a minute. What, 52 seconds? How the fuck are we going to do this? 52 seconds? Yeah, right, jog on, cunt. I can't even do the other one in three fucking minutes, let alone 52 fucking seconds. Now, obviously, there's probably someone out there that can blast through this in seconds and fucking put me to shame. And you know what? That's pretty shit, you know, I'm a bit gutted by that, but there's fuck all I can do about it, isn't there? My, obviously, ability to play puzzle games is not at the highest of standards. You know, in fact, it's pretty fucking low because I can't even get past Scooby fucking do. That's the problem. Let's hope on first frights that I'm a little bit better because this is wank and this game is wank. This fucking mission here is wank, and guess what, Scooby-Doo just had a wank, because this is the fucking, this the game. <laughs> anyway, you know what, fuck it. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today then, people. And I, once again, I've been me, and you've been you. I thank you so much for joining me on my gaming series. Please join me next time for something else. Bye-bye for now.